If you want your realistic procedural wood textures in Blender, then do this. First, add the color wrap node, which we are going to use to give color to the different patterns on the wood. Then, add a mix color node that is going to mix the next set of nodes we are going to add. Then add two noise textures and with the node wrangler add-on enabled, use Ctrl C to get the mapping node and the texture coordinate node. Then connect the factor to the vector of the second noise texture. Connect the factor of the second noise texture to the first slot of the mix color node. Also connect the factor of the first noise texture to the second slot of the mix color node. Connect the mix color nodes to the color ramp and then the color ramp to the base color of the principled BSDF. Turn off normalize on the second noise texture and change the scale on the X and Y of the mapping nodes to 0.35. For the first noise texture, Increase the details to 10, increase the distortion to 1.1, and reduce the scale to 3. And for the second noise texture, reduce the scale to 2, increase the details to 10, and increase the roughness to 0.9, and the distortion to 1.1, and increase the lucularity to 2. Then increase the factor of the mixed color node to 0.8. For the color of the wood, input this hair code for the different shades of brown on the different color inputs of the color ramp. Create a new input by clicking the plus button on the color ramp node. Then add a bump node for a little bit of height on the texture. Then you can now connect the color to the height and then the normal to the normal of the principled BSDF and reduce the strength of the bump nodes to 0.1. For a little bit of spice, we'll duplicate the noise texture, the mapping node and the texture coordinate node. Then change from generated to object from the coordinates node to the mapping node. Change the x axis value to 120, the y axis to 0.8, and the z axis to 1. On the noise texture, change the scale to 4, increase the details to 13, reduce the lucularity to 0.5, and increase the distortion to 2. Then add the color ramp node and switch the position of the color inputs like this. Then you can now duplicate the bump node and connect them like this. And this is the full node setup for the wood texture. If you want an extra added detail to your render, then watch this video.